Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really easy, really affordable kids costume featuring the rainbow fish. This idea came to mind once I saw the glitter roots trend come about. I saw it on Instagram and I instantly thought of the rainbow fish. I don't know why glitter sparked that in my head. If you don't know, the rainbow fish is a book. It's like kids book and it is such a cute book. It was one of my favorites when I was younger and it kind of just teaches kids about sharing. Now I would totally wear this look out, but the reason why I'm calling it a kid's look is because it's a kid's book and it's more geared towards just an easy type of look for your child. If you can sit your girl or boy down for five minutes to do this look, you will be able to do it easy. This is also kind of just an excuse for me to do the glitter roots and incorporate it into a Halloween costume and do the Mickey Mouse buns. I don't know about you guys, but the Mickey Mouse buns are like my favorite thing this year. I would wear them every single day if I could. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with hair because I feel like mine's gross and I really just wanna get it up and off my chest. So my hair is naturally parted more to the side or I just like it more on the side. I can't really pull off that dead center Part, but if you can, go for it. I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and making sure that my part is straight. Okay, that looks about right. So once your hair is separated into two separate sections, I recommend tying one off. I'm just creating a pigtail right now. So just do two high pigtails for now. And then I'm just fastening the pigtail right now with a small scrunchie. Now because this side of my hair has more hair, I use a thicker scrunchie for it. The left side of my head actually decided to act cooperatively, so I just went for it. And now I'm taking bobby pins and just pinning down all the loose pieces to make it look a little bit more pulled apart and piecey. And feel free to do buns that are more ballerina buns or more perfect. I just like mine a little bit messy. On my right side, I always fasten it with a smaller hairband because I find that it pulls down my hair less and because I have less hair on this side, it kind of works a little bit better to achieve the look that I want. Okay, so just flipping that up. Pulling the band around. Whoa, <laughs> that actually came out pretty well. I can definitely work with that. What are you doing, sir? Get out of here. Now I'm just gonna pull out all of the little baby hairs because I like my hair looking messy, like I've said probably 15 times already. <laughs> so for the rainbow fish, I decided to mix four different glitters together and create my own concoction. So I'm taking a purple, a blue, a green, and a white and just mixing it all together in a bowl. This is what it looks like when it's all mixed up together. Next, what I'm going to do is take a clear styling gel and put it into the glitter. This one is from Garnier Fructis and it was just the cheapest clear styling gel that I could find. It's like $2.99 or $3.99 at the drugstore. Really, really easy. Just so that you can see, I only put a little bit down here and now I'm just mixing in my glitter. I would recommend using a brush that you don't really care about that much just in case it gets all yucky. If you can't reuse it, it's not really a big deal. Okay, so I'm grabbing that glitter and the gel and just putting it in my part. And I want some to show up in the front too, so I'm just gonna take it a little bit around here. Now we are done with the finer glitter and I'm going to add some thicker, chunkier glitter in. I ordered these heart-shaped glitters off of eBay. They were like $2. The pack came with an entire rainbow collection of them, but I'm just gonna be specifically using the purple, the green, the blue, and these silver reflects rainbow ones. Also, I forgot to mention that these are in the shapes of hearts. I figured that they would be something similar towards looking like a fin. Or maybe not a fin. What am I, what word is it that I'm searching for right now? A scale. <laughs> I'm just taking the bigger glitter in that same mixing bowl and mixing it with some of the gel. And now I'm just gonna apply it. And try to get it to spread out more than I just did. <laughs> Okay, because I wanna add a little bit more to this costume, I'm gonna bring the glitter down onto my forehead. So I'm just gonna mix up the glitter and the gel again with the bigger ones. This time, I'm just gonna mix the whole thing in one 
and see if it works out on my forehead. When you're thinking about how much glitter to gel ratio you're using, I just eyeball it. Whatever you think looks right is probably right. There's no exact measurement. I am just bringing this glitter all down my forehead. Okay, so once you've put your chunkier glitter down and you have everything to your liking, you're done. This is such a simple and easy look and I hope if you guys try it on your kids or yourself that you tag me in it. I would love to see it. I would also love to know what you think about this look and if you want to see more easy makeup tutorials. I know I did a Queen of Hearts tutorial and that is definitely more time consuming, but if you want to see easy Halloween tutorials, I would love to do those as well. I hope that you love this look as much as I do. I would just throw my child in a purple outfit and probably attach like a little fin onto the back of them and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.